This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 7. Update Condition. In order for a wall loop to stop at some point, the code inside the loop must change something about the state of the program, usually the value of a variable, so that eventually the Boolean expression becomes false. Otherwise, you'd have an infinite loop. Oh no! Do this. Starter code. The starter code runs an infinite loop. It does? Oh yeah, because notice number is set to 6. So when number is declared and defined, it is 1. Then we say, wall number is not 6, write, nope, not 6. Well, number is never not going to be, nev number will never be 6. It's always going to be 1. We never change it. Add code inside the wall loop, which will update the value of number so that the condition will eventually become false. So we need num to eventually equal 1. And what we can do for that is num equals num plus 1. We'll add 1 each time, right? Tip. You can use debugging tools if you think that would be helpful. Let's see. Yeah, so it writes that 6 times. Well, five times because the six time num equals six. Cool. But, uh, let's keep going.